We joined the guys from Superbike, who are once again hosting the famous bike night. We met at Rad KTM and joined them for a great evening and a visit to Ponty. Hello, hello, welcome, mate, welcome. Hi, hey, this is the way to celebrate yeah, spring, guys. Oh, I'm sorry, sorry for your mirror. No, I know they're no. expensive. <laughs> hello, sir. Hello, guys. How's it going? Lekka Lekka, did you all get lost? For a change it wasn't me leading, so you're okay. <laughs> Hello guys, how's it going? Lekka Lekka? Hello sir, are you the sweeper? This is the sweeper, he got lost. Lekka turnout. Only in Africa can you stop on the main bridge in the middle of Joburg, take photographs and video, and just pray that you don't get run over. The oaks are still coming in, thick and fast. We're giving the taxi some competition here. I'm a little bit nervous. I'm being huge to that. Let's see where we go with this. These are the last track that's coming in. We've uh, come all the way from Rad KTM in Ravonia. Along the freeway, we stopped off at the, the Mandela Bridge very briefly. Uh, my plan will be to go back there a little bit later and take some photographs. And we've ended up at all places in the world at the Republic of Ponty. And when I was a kid, we used to hang out and do all sorts of funny things here. But uh, yeah, interesting, it'd be interesting to see what they've done. I believe it was full of garbage for a while. There's a photographer, take your photograph of a photographer. Oh man, I need danger pay for this man. But look at the turnout, fantastic. Check, there's even a Harley, look at that. Eh? Very, very cool. And 2002, the building was declared as a slum, the first apple slum in Africa, with all the crash in the building and everything that was going on in front of it. 2003, that's where the big development of the building came about. Because the owners of the building are the Kempston Strack and Hire, one of the largest logistic companies in the country. They actually got this building at that default. The previous owners were owning this as a well. So this is the view from the very top of Monty. Johannesburg has an amazing, amazing skyline. It's really, really beautiful. They're going to take off some little tour and I down into the middle. I remember coming here when I was a kid. Um, it's a little bit more run down than it used to be, but it's still well worth the tour. Absolutely. <laughs> so tell me now, uh, Mike Knight with Red KTM, how long were we stuck in the lift? About 20 minutes. And was it pre-arranged? I believe so, but it was a plane failure. Or uh, she was disappointed. There were only 10 guys. I can see that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm watching the numbers behind you. We're still moving. That's oh, a good we're sign. It's a good sign. Sign <laughs> Welcome to Ponty. You got your helmet on. You fucking. <laughs> <laughs> you Always be prepared. Eh? <laughs> Stay away from this. Ground level. And everyone yes. breathes a sigh of relief. We were forced to hire people to take it out by hand. And we also since have moved from being a slum in 2002 into being a place where you can shoot movies, music videos, or a couple of movies. Uh, Judge Dredd, yeah, the latest Judge Dredd was shot down here. The Chappie, the robot movie, was shot down here. With uh, the prawns. Uh, Resident Evil 6, the final yes. chapter, the zombie movie, was shot down here, leaving us some souvenirs. These dark marks around the building. The building has never been on fire. They are just painting zombies down here. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> the most recent one is Flag is King by Beyonce. So there's a scene that was shot down here. So it's a quite co a common spot for movies. And the building stands at 173 meters high, has got 54 floors and 484 apartments. So guys, this is, this is Ponty, and I mean, I've been here since I was a, literally a kid. Daniel Pino, how are you? 
Oh, all good. Thank you for coming through tonight, Glenn. No, look at Daniel. Daniel and his family have recently reacquired the Superbike brand. Is that correct? Yes, yeah. Okay, so tell us what you're up to. And listen, whatever you do, don't step any further back. Yeah. All right, tell us a little bit about what you're up to and what the idea was behind this bike night. All right, so uh, when my dad and I were still running the magazine um, just before COVID came, uh, we used to do these on a regular basis, the bike nights, and uh, just felt like the guys were missing something. So uh, we thought we would start it off with something special, so we decided to come back to the Ponty Towers, which was probably one of our most popular ones that we did. And uh, yeah, we had a great turnout, uh, been extremely lucky with selling the tickets and stuff. I didn't actually even get to a chance to approach any of the other dealers because the, the slots just filled up too quickly. So uh, thank you so much to all the guys that did support us. Really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, be sure to be on the next one. The next one we're doing... You, you're going to start doing this on a, on a fairly regular basis, I hope. Yes, yeah. So we're planning on doing this at least once a month, uh, maybe different locations. Uh, the next one I've got booked for the 6th of October and uh, we're going to be doing that with the guys from Triumph South Africa. So um, I think there's still a couple tickets available so please make sure to get there. Tickets include uh, security at the building. It's super safe, really nice. I'm sure Glenn and will show you a, and some And a really, a really big dinner. I'm going to have to set my suspension up on the way home now. Thank you <laughs> yeah, for that. Quite a, lacquer, quite a lacquer dinner and a couple of drinks as well. So uh, yeah, 6th of October we're going to be doing it with Triumph. And uh, yeah, hope to see Lekker. you guys there. So they just get hold of Triumph and they can buy tickets through sure, them and yeah, then off they go. Yeah, you can do it all uh, through Triumph's uh, website. Brilliant, that's excellent. Daniel, good to see you back in action, boy. It's going to be great. Awesome, thanks, Glenn. Cheers, cheers. And Ciao. you guys can watch the magazine. We'll, we'll let everybody know what these oaks are up to. But this was just our little ponty visit this evening and we went past the Mandela Bridge and we had some good food and, and met some nice friends. So that's awesome. You see, guys, you do need a motorcycle in your life, for sure.